And the Prophet ﷺ says that shaitan has stood on every avenue a human being could take to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, shaitan stood on the way to Al-Islam. So when a person wants to become a Muslim, wants to turn to Islam, shaitan stands there, okay, stops him on the way. And he says, starts to whisper to his heart, are you going to leave the religion or the way of life of your fathers, your forefathers, your parents, your people and everything? You're going to leave all of that and go to Islam, go to these Muslims? Why, do you, why, why should you do that? Do you want to separate yourself uh, from the rest of the people? Do you want to be ostracized by the people? So shaitan whispers to the heart. Don't forget, shaitan will never leave you alone. And sins are his weapon. And then the Prophet ﷺ says, so the person ignores shaitan and he goes to Islam. Then it comes time to make hijrah to make immigration. Shaitan comes to him, he says, you're going to leave your country, your people and everything you've, you've worked for and you're going to make hijrah. Shaitan keeps whispering, keeps whispering, keeps whispering. The person disobeys him, then he goes to Islam. Then it comes time for jihad, for fighting for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The person wants, wants to set out in jihad, Shaitan comes to him, he says, you're going to lose your life, you're going to kill yourself. And you, then after that, somebody else is going to marry you to the heart, pushing the people to do sins. Why? Because he knows that a sin will weaken your heart. Shaitan knows that. Shaitan knows that sin will make or will place a black spot on your heart. And finally, your heart will be wrapped in blackness, in a black shield or a black veil, and you will not be able to tell the reality of things. You will not be able to follow the straight path, and you will go astray. Shaitan works towards that. So, and we will see, Shaitan is very intelligent. The way he plans, the way he plots, the way he schemes, we can see that he's very intelligent and he doesn't leave any possibility, any avenue without utilizing it, without taking advantage of it, without exploiting it to send the people astray, <clears throat> whether they are sin, whether they are innovation or any other thing. So sins are one of the main weapons of shaitan and they are very powerful because he knows how effective they are. This is why he uses sin. So why are sins very effective? in the war, or oh, effective weapons for shaitan against human beings. Because sins have the ability to take control of the hearts. Sins are of the same, you know, on the same level, on the same world of, of the heart. Sometimes you don't feel physically the impact of sin, but the heart is directly affected by the sin is straight away affected by the sin. Once you fall in a sin, your heart has been affected, straight away. You might not see that with your eyes, but a true believer, a person whose heart is alive, he knows that, he feels it. He feels, and we will talk about some of the impact, some of the consequences of sin. So the problem with the sin, it can take control of the heart. And the problem, once the sin takes control of the heart, you lose control of your heart. And sin is the weapon of shaitan, he controls it. So it means shaitan will control your heart. And you know if shaitan control your heart was going if shaitan controls your heart, what's going to happen? It's going to die. Because shaitan wants your heart to die. So we have to understand the impact of sin on our hearts. The sin has the ability. Why? Because the actions, the limbs. So once you do a sin, 
you commit a sin with your hand or with your tongue, we know that the origin of the sin is in the heart. But doing it in your external, by your actions or by your words, is a reflection of what was in your heart. So you don't fall in a sin unless your heart is inclined towards it. Your heart has developed some love to that sin. Those who fall in adultery, zina. Why do they fall in adultery? Because the heart feels some love to that. So the heart sends to the actions, to the limbs, to the body, to, to act according to that love. And that's the problem with the heart. If it loves something, this thing takes control of it. Because the heart, we said, was created in the first place in order to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for love Allah, for the love of Allah to take control of it. And this is where your heart will be healthy. But if you don't use it for that purpose and you use it in order to love sins, sins will take control of your heart. Your heart will become captive to the sins. And that's utter destruction. Inshallah, in future episodes, we will talk about the harmful consequences, the harmful effects of sins and how they negatively affect the heart and have the potential to destroy it and bring it absolute death. So you're invited to join us in future episodes to highlight more some of the secrets about the heart. So join us inshallah in future episodes. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.